of life is kind of grey, but in a lot of ways it's black and white as well. There's simple choices, you either get busy living or get busy dying. I'd been involved in a long distance relationship and when that came to an end I kind of I didn't know what to do I felt very lost I, I felt like I didn't have much of an identity of my own anymore I kind of had to sit down and say look I, I need to find something new to do or do nothing at all I, I came to a launch uh, for Halo 3 ODST at, at uh, Electronics Boutique and I happened to be over there and I heard the staff talking about um, how cool it would be you know, if someone rocked up in a costume. And I'm like, um, hey guys, I, I have a Halo suit at home. She's just like, oh dude, wear it, please wear it. And I'm like, oh no, it's a bit weird. You know, I, I don't know if that's something I really feel comfortable with. Ah, oh, please, please, please. I can't say no to girls. So I was like, all right, yeah, I'll come. I guess Master Chief, if, if you really look at the story of, of Halo, he's quite alone. He's the last Spartan, so he's the last of his kind. And even though he's all about wanting to save humanity and do well in the world and, and help people and everything like that, he kind of has a Superman syndrome thing happening, so I very much identify with that. No matter sort of what face you put on and, and how others perceive you, you can feel one way uh, while others perceive you as being something completely different. When I was 12, I actually started to get really, really sick. I was eventually diagnosed with chronic fatigue syndrome and I went on to homeschooling. Do you think we need inspiration? Oh uh, yeah, I think it's a pretty important part of life. Um, I like Steven Spielberg and all the other big directors. Why? Um, they just work with electronics and they make great movies. One day you might be a sort of a Steven Spielberg? Um, I'd like to be. Yeah, maybe you can change your last name and you can be Matthew Spielberg. Maybe. <laughs> Um, with the characters I choose, most characters come from my childhood. Um, I think part of that is because of the fact that I was sick, I kind of missed out on a little bit of my childhood. Um, so this is a way as an adult to kind of reclaim that and relive my childhood. Raphael, I just want to say, the wonderful thing about this costume, not only does it look great down here, but have a look at it on screen and you tell me that that hasn't been done with pretty much the same attention to detail and quality as the ones from the 90s Turtles movies. Raphael's always about going off and, and alone and he can handle the world himself and he can handle everything himself um, but he overthinks his abilities and then he realises that he needs everyone else. And that kind of speaks to me as well in that I, I feel alone but then part of me wants to be the loner as well and I kind of forge ahead and, and do that kind of thing and then I reach a point where I realise, no, hold on, you need all these other people that care about you and I kind of run back and you know get them for support and everything like that. We're quite broken, um, whether it be emotionally or physically. It's just something that I find quite prominent in, in costume is when you start to get to know people that these things may have happened in their life and Maybe they're using this as an outlet to work out some of that. I, I know personally I am, like, you know, I use this as an outlet to, to work through my, my relationship ending and things like that. Uh, I wanted my costuming to have more of a purpose. So I, I wanted to do this thing that I love, but I wanted to help benefit other people. 
last year I went to Supernova as the Ninja Turtle. And there's this one gorgeous photograph of me like reaching out, with giving a little child a high five. Actually getting little things like that back, it just hits straight home and you know, makes you realise that it's all worthwhile and it's very hard not to cry when stuff like that happens. We all want to do some good in the world, we all want to make a difference, we all want to kind of uh, do so in a big way even if we may not act upon it. And so I think that's something that speaks to people in that you're a symbol for perhaps something that they want to do, something they desire to do but something they don't do. So that's even like beyond the costuming, just the actual symbol of the superhero or the character. but I think there's a very blurred line between where it starts as a hobby and it quickly becomes something more. Whatever pursuit you have in life, um, if it makes you happy and you know, you're not hurting anyone by doing it, then you know, pursue it, grab hold of it, make the most of it.